Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to study how to create an EBS volume and attach it to an EC2 instance using cloud formation. So let's get started. So basically the steps that we are going to follow in this tutorial are we are first going to create an EC2 instance then we'll be creating an EBS volume and then attaching this particular EBS volume to the previously created EC2 instance. Okay, so now let's go to our browser and search for the cloud formation documentation. So within this, I'll be going for the user guide. And then within this, I'll be clicking on template reference and then on the resource and property reference. So in this, I'll be searching for EC2. Yeah. So I'll be clicking right here. Then since I want to create an EC2 instance, I'll go to this particular section. And you can see that we get these templates in two patterns that is JSON as well as YAML. So I'll be following YAML specifically. So let's go to our editor and you can see that I have already created a YAML file which is empty of course. Now I'll be adding resources to this particular YAML file. Okay. And within the resources, I'll be mentioning the logical ID for my EC2 instance, wherein the type of course is of AWS EC2 instance, right, which we already know. Now we also need to mention the properties and there are many properties for this particular EC2 instance. I will be specifying only few. Okay, so the rest of them will be considered as default. So within the properties, the one that I want to consider the most is about availability zone. Okay, so the, this is the availability zone within which my EC2 instance will get created. Okay, so I'll be mentioning it to be as US East 1A. Okay, so the next stuff or the next property that I want to add is of image ID. Okay, so I'll be adding this image ID right here. Now for the image ID, I'll first go to the EC2 management console and try to launch an instance. You can see that I have got this particular AMI that is Amazon Linux 2 and its AMI ID is mentioned right here. So this is what I want to mention. Okay, since I want my EC2 instance to be of this image ID. Okay, so I'll be just pasting it right here. Okay, now after this, I'll be mentioning the instance type. Okay, so this is the instance type. Basically, you can uh, mention any of those that are mentioned right here. Okay, so I'll go over here and click on instance type. Okay, and my instance type will be t2.micro. So that's it for my EC2 instance over here. Now, since I'm done with creating EC2 instance, I'll now go and create the EBS volume. Okay, so let's go to that particular section. So I'll be searching for volumes, right? You can see this over here. And within this, we have got a template for EC2 volume, right? So let's go to our template once again. Mention the logical ID as 
my ebs volume okay then the type of course is aws ec2 volume right and then we'll be mentioning the properties okay now for the properties what i'll do is i'll go to this section and you can see all the detailed uh, properties are available right here okay so the most important among these are size or snapshot id your template should either consider snapshot id or else it should have the size mentioned so that accordingly that particular volume will get generated so in this case i'll be considering availability zone as that of my ec2 instance so i want my ebs volume to be created in the same availability zone as that of my ec2 instance so i'll just mention the availability zone over here and with the help of get attribute i'll be able to get the availability zone that belongs to my ec2 instance okay so now i'm done with adding this particular availability zone also now after this i will be showing you something that is volume type now volume type is the type of volume with which you want to create your ebs okay so basically we have got general purpose ssd then provisioned iops ssd throughput optimized hdd cold hdd or magnetic or standard you can consider so in this case i'll be considering provisioned iops ssd that is io1 okay now you can see that with the particular volume type the size also changes right so the supported volume size for each volume type is also mentioned in here so according to your requirement you can mention the size that you desire for your volume okay so since i am going to make use of io1 as my volume type i will be considering the size of it as 100 as of now and for and at the same time i also need to mention this particular iops okay that is the number of io operations per second now in this case you can mention any among this particular range that is 100 to 64000 for io1 okay so i'll be again mentioning this as 100 okay so what was that basically for iops that will be 100 in this case my okay i can also use other properties like encrypted then kms key id multi attach enabled outpost arn tags throughput all of these there are many properties and you can enter them according to your requirement okay now you can see that we are done with creating our volume also now the next important step that we want to perform is nothing but we need to add this volume to this particular ec2 instance now for attaching we require volume attachment so we'll go to this volume attachment right here and what we'll do is we'll just copy this particular template out here okay now i'll be mentioning it as mount point okay then within this so okay so the type mentioned over here becomes volume attachment 
okay now with this we are going to attach our abs volume to our ec2 instance so the device that i'll be using right here is you can use any of the um things that we need okay i will be mentioning it to be as uh, dev sdh there are certain set of devices that we can use you can go and search out that as well within the instance id i'll be mentioning the id or the reference of this particular logical id okay so i'll be just kind of passing the reference okay and also for volume id i have to mention or refer our ebs volumes logical id okay so over here i pasted and this is how it's done now i'll save this template file and now we'll go to the cloud formation stack within the create stack we'll be considering template is ready we'll be uploading a template from my this particular section within the of course ebs volumes and here we are next now i'll be entering the stack name as my stack and since i haven't mentioned any of the parameters it's empty i can add a tag as name to be my instance okay the rest of the things i'll be keeping them as it is same over here and submit and watch all the events related to this particular creation process and it's showing me create in progress right it takes some time of course to create all the resources see that my first my ec2 instance got created then after that it created the ebs volume and now it is creating mount point with the help of which it will attach this ebs volume to my ec2 instance okay so we can see that the stack is completed creation completed and now we can go to the resources for our ec2 management console now we can see that my instance within the storage it has got two different volumes right here wherein the size of the volume is of course 100 and there's nothing other than that Okay. so in this way we can attach our EBS volume to our EC2 instance with the help of cloud formation please like share and subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates so thank you so much and have a nice day